okay. At the end of the month, it's going to be intense for you guys. Potentially in a good way. But Emperor, these are all major arcana cards. And when those show up, sort of like, wabam, 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 one after another, it means that there are some large themes, some big things happening. So at the end of the month, I'm seeing after you leave something, and after the new moon. So we have the full moon on October 5th um, in Aries, I believe that is. And then the new moon is going to be in um, Scorpio towards the end of the month. So after that happens, then these big things happen. And I, I really see that around the new moon, you may be willing to leave the old cycle. And that's when this stuff comes in. Talk a little bit more about that towards the end of the reading. You also have a major arcana in the middle of the month, Hangman. Um, and I'll say a little bit about that. But let's start here. Two of Wands in reverse kind of can be, you know, both of these cards, Ace of Coins in reverse and Two of Wands in reverse, are saying, Sag, that you might be having a hard time um, identifying which, which way you want to go regarding something, which choice you want to make. And it, it could also be a resistance to receiving help in beginning something new that you want to begin. Aces are always new beginnings. And this is receiving something new. Now, whether this is a job offer or um, a new way of life, a new lifestyle, a new business, um, just new money coming in, a new venture, it's, you can see it's this gateway, this portal. It's going somewhere new. And this is a card also about going somewhere new. This is sometimes called sending your ships out. And it's kind of saying you do want to begin something new. You do want to take action towards something. This is a fire um, sign card. Swans always represent fire, and that's your sign, Sag. So it's kind of like saying you're antsy to take action on something and begin something, but you may not know where to start. Or you may not know how to begin it. You may not know how to implement it. And you may not know how to receive help. So I'm going to encourage you to do all of those things. These, these cards are here for you. And they're showing up. And it's saying, consider new horizons. Consider sending your ships out. This is boldness. This is action. Uh, it's self-confidence to take the new step, begin the new thing. I'm kind of getting echoes of that Goethe quote or the one that's often attributed to him, which says, be bold, you know, boldness has greatness to it. When you step towards things, the world will open doors to you that you didn't know existed, and the world will step toward, and I'm totally misquoting it, but it's basically that when you take action towards something, the world steps towards you also. And if there's something that you're looking to begin, new ace, new money, new venture, you know, there's in, it was common in these cards is that there's hands holding these globes. And it's sort of saying like the world is in the palm of your hands. You just have to receive it. And it, both these cards, weird, in a weird way, are about receiving. Receiving the money and receiving the help. Because this is the second person in this card is the person who wants to help this person, which is you, achieve their goals and achieve what, where they want to go to send those ships out. So whatever is causing you to feel fear, doubt, or resistance towards taking these bold new steps, challenge that. Ask, ask about it. Ask, where can I, ask yourself, you know, where can, instead of saying I can't, I don't know where to get help, say where could help possibly be? How could I do it? What are the ideas? What are the next steps I need to take? Where is the confidence within me? Um, what do I need to do? Because Wands asks, what do I need to do? What's the action I need to take in order to begin this new thing? So allow yourself to ask those questions in order to remove any fears, doubts, or resistance about taking this grand, bold, new step. Sag, you're ready for it. And I also see, too, that you, if you do not take action, or if you do not consider going forward, if you do not see the pearl that is in your hand, the coin potentially that's in your hand, then you may miss out on something and you may feel stuck. This, these two cards are four of cups, which means that the world is trying to offer you something 
Um, but it's being checked out and thinking, oh, things are always going to be the same. You don't even see the cup coming towards you. Again, another symbol of an ace or a new beginning. This is like being bored, aloof. Like This is a, a belief that things always have been in the same way. They are going to be the same way, and they always will be the same way. So this is something new coming in. But if you don't clear these weeds away, you won't see it. And that's similar in this card where this person is not seeing the cup that's coming towards them, the universe is trying to hand to them in the same way that this is a card of the universe trying to hand you more riches, more abundance. This person is blindfolded too and says, you know, I can't see the way out. I feel victimized. I feel powerless. I feel captive. So these are kind of like saying, I'm not, you're not seeing the full picture. And that can be true, Sag, if you, if you don't remove the blinders, if you don't remove the blindfold or the weeds that have grown around, you might, you might remain in thinking, okay, well, I don't know how to proceed forward. I don't know how I could possibly begin this thing. I don't know how I could receive it. I don't really know what to do. I don't know what choice to make. That's, a, that's an option. You know, two of wands is about making a choice, finding balance. But you really do have, if you can remove the fear, doubt, or resistance, you really have a nice opportunity here. You kind of have the world in the palm of your hands if you can access the courage and the boldness to receive, big word here, receive the help, receive the money, receive the abundance, the prosperity, the, the new thing that's coming in. It's really kind of up to you, Saj. Are you going to take the action to do it? Or are you going to remain in a stagnant place and just say, I can't do anything about it? Really, this is a, an invitation to take action on something at the beginning of the month, Saj. Um, it's, your, it's your choice. That's what's going on. And then middle of the month, I see you working hard. This is eight of coins. This is like grinding it out at work, producing lots of of results through the work and the effort that you put in. It can sometimes mean making lots of money or working on a creative project that is beneficial, um, that brings in a lot of money. So this is sort of like a card whistling while you work and being happy with what you're creating and happy with what with the results that you're bringing in. Um, these are cards, I'm going to start with Hangman in reverse. Hangman in reverse sometimes points to a worry about worrying too much about what other people think. Um, in the upright position here is, is marching to the beat of your own drum, honoring your own unique eccentric ways of doing things. When it's like this, it's saying like, I don't feel that I can be free to do things in the way that I want to do them. I don't feel like I can actually pursue my own dreams and thoughts and ideas because this is what my expectation is or this is what society expects of me so I've got to just toe the line. I'm seeing that that is going to prevent you from accessing prosperity, Sag. You may have a dream for opening a new business or doing something that really benefits you. It's in line here with Ace of Coins and it's in line with Empress. But because it's in reverse, all of these are in reverse, there's a lot of doubt, fear, resistance. I'm kind of seeing that, oh no, I just have to keep my own job, the job I have and grind it away. And, you know, I just have to stay at my workbench. I can't possibly dream about taking action on this thing I want to accomplish or receiving help or money I, or pursuing my own uh, way of doing things and ending up in this pros uh, prosperous, abundant place. Like, these are kind of all surrounding this. Like, yeah, those are nice dreams, but I've just got to grind it out. There's some, there's three eights in this spread. There's the eight of cups, the eight of coins, and the eight of swords. And those are cards about prosperity and abundance. And they all kind of have a different take on it. This one doesn't feel like she has access to it. This one is working away for it, and it, he's actually creating it. And then this one leaves what they've put a lot of their heart into to go on to something new. 
So I want you to consider which of those you identify the most with, Sag, because you really, the only one that's missing is the eight of fire, which means things happening rapidly. But it really is, I'm seeing a focus for you in October about trusting yourself enough to access your dreams and your prosperity and not giving in to feeling like, oh, I've had losses in the past, therefore I'm going to have losses again. Or I tried before and failed, therefore I don't even see the possibility of success here. Um, five of, of cups usually means a, a loss of some sort. And I'm seeing in this particular case, it's for having attempted something. And I'm really reminded of Michael Jordan's... Um, when he talked about how he, the reason he was successful is because he failed and he failed and he failed and he failed and he was willing to fall down and be seen as, you know, missing the shot, missing the game winning shot. He wasn't preoccupied with all of his prior losses and the emotional hurt or humiliation or failure that, that sort of comes with that. He wasn't worried about, like, what does everybody think of me? You know, what is everybody going to think of me if I try and fail? I'm really seeing that as a theme for you this month, Saj. It's almost like you kind of have to put your, yourself in a place to go for it um, in order to not just feel the sadness or feeling like you just have to keep up with the Joneses and keep at that workbench. You really have an opportunity here in the middle of the month to access, remember what I said about Jupiter and your dreams? That's kind of what this card's about. This is the visionary and saying, okay, I want to explore new lands. I want to, I want to be in the place where my ships are coming in because this is at the beginning of the month, these two cards follow one another. This is sending your ships out and this is being on the next shore to being, being ready to receive those ships, you know, setting up new camps, setting up a new empire, having dreams, having vision. You really have the, ability and the opportunity after October 10th to connect with your dreams, your visions of the future. And I'm going to say it may challenge some of your fears, doubts, or resistance to, to receiving prosperity and abundance, to doing things your own way, not worrying about what other people think, or you could remain here, you know, depending upon which way you choose to go. So that, that's what I'm going to say. If you you may actually be ready for this towards the end of the month, Sash, is what I'm seeing. You're, you may not be ready to take action on something until the end of the month when we get that new moon. And then, boy, oh, boy, do things change. Um, you know, there's, there's death. This is letting go of something. World is a completion of a cycle. Empress is about connecting with prosperity, fertility, giving birth to something. It's saying that whatever has been in delay, whatever you've like completed that you haven't walked away from yet, you might be ready at the end of the month. I mean, there's some resistance to it. This means a completion. This is the end of the road. When you, we start something new, death means transforming, cutting the old rows, taking those seeds and planting something new. And Empress represents nurturing. You can see these blooms here. It represents new growth, nurturing something new that's going to bloom and provide you with sustenance and abundance and prosperity. It's like, it's so ready for you, Saj. The question is, are you ready for it? Because with these in reverse, saying you want to move on to the next cycle, but you're not, you're really not sure about it. It's, it's here. And it's saying, okay, you need to let go. Sometimes death in reverse, I'll say it's, it, it's sort of like that saying, let go or be dragged. You know, if you don't let go, it will let go for you. Um, yeah, if there's something, you, you kind of need to trust yourself, Sag. And you may have more ability to do that towards the end of the month. You might want to spend after... After Jupiter goes into um, Scorpio, you may want to spend some time really connecting with your dreams, your vision for the future. Like, ask yourself the question, where do I want to be next November? 
What do I want to create for myself? What do I want to establish? And that may help you loosen up some of the fear, doubt, or resistance to moving on to this next cycle. And you're going to have the, the readiness coming up here at the end of the month for that 